Hey everyone, what's up? This is Luna, the Moon Tarot. So here I come with your energy update video as usual. This time you know that I go ahead and upload energy updates. Trying to manage somehow and trying to be on time because of late I was uploading the videos around 11 and 12 at night and I realized that it was too 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 late but just stuck up with so many um, stuff and uh, so little time so now i'm trying to upload videos on time max to max by 11 ish you will find my videos uploaded on this channel uh, between 10 to 11 anytime and yeah so let's start with your current energy update what are your person's current thoughts and feelings towards you current thoughts and feelings please this is the fresh energy update video and how are you guys feeling? Tomorrow is the last day, day for Mercury Retrograde is going to get over. Then we will be in the shadow period till 9th, I guess. And then <sighs> finally the sigh of relief. Right? So let's see. The current thoughts and feelings. Energy update, please. High Priestess, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. I feel that your person is going through a lot of epiphanies. They are, uh, you know, in a way they are hiding many things. Uh, your person can be looking inwards for answer, kind of getting spiritually aligned in case if your person is an atheist, just in case if you if you're gonna say that, oh, you know, my person do not believe in God or spirituality or whatsoever, then your person is tapping into their intuitions. Okay, they are looking inwards for the answers and they are looking within themselves. They are searching within themselves. What is it that they really, really, really desire? Okay, uh, so right now uh, they are trusting their intuitions, their wisdom to receive the answers. All right. Bottom of the deck. Let's see what do we have. Oh, three of wands. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. Definitely. Three of wands is a card for future. It's a forward looking card. It's a futuristic card. They are thinking about you. They are thinking about future with you. They are also planning their finances. You know, whatever hard work they have been putting in all this while into their work, into their business, into their job. Now is the time when they will start looking uh, you know, uh, start seeing results and direction where their life is heading towards with you and otherwise as well. So just, uh, they're tr just trying to be patient. They are watching patiently as where their life is state uh, taking them so that they can, go, you know, uh, so that they can decide what exactly they are really looking forward for. Okay. Hmm. Now let's see what else do we have here. What are the current thoughts and feelings? Current thoughts and feelings please. Energy update video. This is for the energy update video. What are the current thoughts and feelings? Current thoughts and feelings please. Current thoughts and feelings. What are the current thoughts and feelings? Too many. I'm going to take it back. Current thoughts and feelings, please. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, Hanged Man, Five of Cups. 
your person is confused right now are you walking away from them they are thinking and they are wondering because to them you are the empress i feel that you know your person is kind of uh, traveling this is also a travel card with eight of cups i feel that your person right now is thinking they are thinking is it like my person probably i feel that you have taken your power back because you're in the empress mode you're just sitting and watching patiently waiting for them they are not aware they feel that you are kind of taking your power back you have taken your power back and you are kind of now walking away from them with eight of cups energy i feel that you know they are feeling sad they are not liking it because there's a sad moon as well in the picture there so they are feeling sad because they are the one who pushed you away and now they can't let you go as well they are in two minds right now they are not making any kind of effort or movement uh, towards you or decision towards you they are stuck in their head so two stagnant cards over here two stagnant energy that i feel over here they are trying to find a direction they are trying to find an answer they are searching for an answer they are look they are feeling directionless they are now feeling very sad why had they pushed you away in the past because at the end of the day they do realize that you are their empress okay you are somebody they highly re respect they highly desire they highly want you have a certain stature in the society and uh, you have a certain aura to yourself which is really 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 admire about you they feel that you are one person who's quite uh, independent there's a lot of self love self worth and you don't need to be codependent or you're not emotionally dependent on anybody you have your own life you have your own um you know you are abundant and you are very caring and nurturing you're down to earth person who is meant to be okay they see you in a very high light and they respect you a lot what else do we have Oh my god see we have the emperor and the empress just after empress we have the emperor i see that they they understand they realize that you are their divine counterparts and there is much more meaning to this connection to what they thought maybe dealing with an aries here okay i feel that they feel that you are somebody who is worth it virgo hermit energy okay and they want you in their life because they feel that you are somebody who are there uh, on their level who who's on their level if they are the emperor you're the empress if you are the uh, you know if you are the emperor then they are the empress so i feel that they feel somewhere down the line that you know uh, even you are one person who has uh, you know who has uh, seen life who has gone through the hardships of life who has viewed life and i feel somewhere down the line your person likes that strength in you okay they admire that strength in you that how strong you are even after you know all the things so finally at the end you know at the end of the day i feel that they you know they see you as somebody who is very powerful who is somebody very uh, knowledgeable who is very mature in handling stuff and who is certainly deserves to be uh, besides them you know to sit by their side to be there forever in their life what else do we have here current thoughts and feelings please wow So we have the Hermit, Ace of Wands, Death and Ten of Swords. 
I feel that your person is now ready to come out of the uh, solitude state of mind from their zone that they were in all this while. Okay, your person is now ready to take a leap of faith with you. I feel that they are now coming out of their zone and now they are terrified that what if, if you're actually moving on from them. Okay, so now they are ready to go ahead and whatever self-introspection and healing that they have done. Now is the time when they will be slowly and gra uh, gradually coming out of the shell. With Ace of Wands, I feel that there is a new beginning, new passion and beginning that is going to come. And they are going to kill whatever back... Uh, baggage that they have been carrying all this while you know they have done and they are still in the process of doing a lot of self introspection and healing so that when they come towards you they come right and in a much 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 better way as a better person because i see they have been carrying a lot of backstabbing energy a lot of um pain a lot of baggages a lot of betrayals and they are ending putting a full stop on that particular topic or that particular chapter in their life and they're heading towards the lovers gemini virgo aries i see water signs cancer scorpio pisces i see scorpio hmm. king of pentacles what else do we have One more card, please. Hmm. So we have lovers, king of pentacles, seven of pentacles. We have six of pentacles and we have nine of uh, nine of wands i feel that your person is definitely coming towards you they do recognize and accept that there is a very strong pull magnetic attraction and very strong love towards each other that you both share they are accepting that i see a lot of attraction there i see a lot of um fantasizing in their mind i see for you i also see with king of pentacles they are coming up slowly but steadily they are also focused on their finances they are patiently waiting for something to happen in their work and they're also patiently waiting and watching to come towards you they are patiently watching how this connection is going to grow as well as i feel that somewhere down the line i feel that they are trying to maintain a balance they are trying to strike a balance between personal and professional life because i feel that they there is a lot of imbalance that is there in this connection probably they are focused on earning money right here and they are focused on their job or their business hence they are keeping their walls up high so that their money situation can become better then they can come towards you okay that's what i feel with king of swords i see that right now if you're thinking that your person is giving you a cool shoulder or they are thinking that you may be giving them a cold shoulder right now and you're trying to move on or i see they your person is traveling that is also a possibility but i see that you know uh they feel that uh since in uh, in the past they have pushed you away and given you a uh, red signal, <coughs> no-go signal. So this time when they will come towards you, okay, you may give them a cold shoulder. So they are terrified. Will you even accept them or not? Okay, so they are terrified about this fact. But are you going to accept them or not? Aquarius energy, star card. They are wishing, they are hoping and they are healing. So this is a wish and hope fulfillment uh this this is a wish fulfillment card along with you know a positive hope that you are going to accept them when they will come to you in a uh, in the right manner right now they are focused on their work and they are trying to strike a balance between both but they are also hoping that when they will be there around you in your life again you would not reject them however right now i see they are struggling with their finances they're struggling to uh, gain balance in their finances they haven't told you this yet okay with the high priestess card i feel that there are many things in their life that they haven't discussed 
and they have kept it secret they are juggling with it at the same point of time i feel that they are also finding it difficult because nowadays i feel they find you as a mystery there are things that they are not getting to know about you they're keeping it within yourself closed tight to your chest and heart with leo energy strength i see that you know these things will start coming out they are uh, trying to focus on work they're trying to focus on uh, maintaining their sanity they are feeling very overworked i feel they there's a lot of work pressure that they are dealing with they are feeling very overworked and overburdened and overwhelmed okay nowadays and they're just trying to not uh you know i feel that they, they are just trying to wrap up their work once they are done with their project work business uh, whatsoever they are dealing with because of which they are totally tied up and not able to give you time they just want to get it done so that you know once they shed off these wands okay this this burden they will come right towards you okay in the right way in the right manner and then they they will proceed oh my god see harfent taurus heavy taurus i feel that then it is the time that they will go ahead and proceed towards a forever situation wherein they are definitely thinking about marriage this person is definitely somebody who uh, manages a lot a lot of stuff they are good in their work and people actually approach them i see that this person is actually a uh, drowning in work okay a lot of work a lot of work they hardly have any time they are feeling very restless they are feeling they are not even able to sleep they are overthinking about work situation and you both of you lot of self introspection and they don't want you to go and leave them with justice card libra card i see that this person have gone through a lot of imbalance in their life maybe in their past can be a divorced uh can be divorce separation or something of that sort if not if that's not the case then i see they are trying really hard to strike a balance and they know that in coming future in coming few days they will be able to do that and they will be right back at you uh you know right back with you uh catching up with you texting you calling you which they are unable to do right now i feel that they wish to talk to you but then right now they know that it's better that i go ahead and finish off my stuff which is there this person can also be juggling with some legal uh, paperwork or something but right now they see that uh, i feel that they are looking at the future they are contemplating future with you as well okay and they are securing the future their future basically financially as well and they are l and they are thinking about future with you as well both so this person is actually in the making of or in the creation of their future with you and stabilizing themselves oh my god so we have three of wands there and we have three of wands there a lot of travel on the cards can be some international travel plans some international project something to come from international overseas some visa or something but definitely there is some sort of travel and waiting game which is going on a lot of waiting game which is going on so this person is waiting observing their finances to grow and waiting and observing this relationship also to grow and their work to get over so that they can invest some time in this connection as well with ace of pentacles i also see that you know they want to start a new beginning uh something which uh is more towards more stability something which is more towards commitment and there is something in next one month i see coming and then we have uh eight of swords i feel that this person right now is stuck in work okay completely stuck and they just not able to they are just not able to see anything beyond that you know they are having anxiety and sleepless nights as well because they are you know even if in the past they have asked you to leave i see that they are unable to leave you they find you very 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 good very attracted uh, they are very attracted towards you and uh, undoubtedly they know that you are somebody who are who is worth keeping they don't want you to uh, they don't want you to go uh, or walk away from this particular connection they are trying to strike a balance they are trying to also heal from their past baggage or whatever phobias that they have been carrying they're trying to take a call and come 
forward towards you capricorn energy so they are willing to come forward towards you they're just healing striking a balance in their life and we had king of pentacles here we have queen of pentacles divine counterpart they are putting a full stop at the negative cycle in their life whatever hardships they were facing because of their past now is the time when they are actually putting it putting a full stop because now they want to enter in a new world that a new world which is with you in a commitment they are looking forward for it so right now this is all something which is there in their mind remember we had high priestess they are not going to share all these feelings with you when i say that you know they are going to come forward it is their energy that they want to okay and they will be coming forward just have some patience because all these things you are not aware of which is going on in their mind they are not telling you they are not sharing it with you because this is a you know this is something that they are juggling with this is their own thought process and feelings okay now let's see what are the messages we have here so this is a new deck this is uh, you know, for people who think they are in touch with their twin flames, soulmates, uh, soulmates. Uh, so this particular messages are for them. Uh, you know, this is also a general message. So take how it may resonate. So it's not like if I'm saying soulmate or twin flame connection. So it's made for them, them only. But yeah, it is also twin flame and soulmates messages. Okay. What are the messages, current thoughts and feelings? What's running on in their mind? Let's see. Current thoughts and feelings, please. Current messages. What are the messages? Oops. Too many. I'm going to put it back current thoughts and feelings and current messages I admire you for being so bold and brave in your life see didn't I tell you didn't I tell you the Empress card? What did I discuss? You are the only one that makes me feel this way. Of course, you are their Empress. They are the Emperor. I'll be back when we are fully happy and fulfilled in our life. So I told you this person is quite a futuristic person, forward-looking person. Uh, okay, and this person is very logical and practical types that you are dealing with. So I'm, you know, this person is trying to settle down in life, have a good future. They are planning. It's sort of a planning that they are doing with you. Okay, uh, probably working on finances so that they you could you guys can have a good future. Probably working on themselves, uh, healing themselves. Like I said, <coughs> both the things are there. Your presence in my life brought me so much happiness yes they feel very happy with you whenever you are around what else do we have messages please i i still have hope that we will be together again see they are so you know, this person is taking time, not because they don't love you. This person is taking time because they are trying to fix things. Okay. They are trying to heal themselves and they are trying to become a better version of themselves before coming ahead forward towards you. I want to bring honesty and sincerity into our connection. What did I say just now? Oh God. Messages, please. I am sorry for breaking promises that I have made to you. They are sorry. I'm telling you, they can't see you going away from them. I cannot live without you, but I don't want you to know this. I mean, is this is not a coincidence, right? I mean, just... You know, I have no words right now because that is what I have been telling you in the entire spread. And each message which is coming out right now is actually proving that, right? Let me know in the comment section. 
Oh my god, everything just fits in so beautifully. I still need more time to come to my own con conclusions. I'm telling you this person is forward looking, futuristic, okay? Two of wands, three of wands. Person is healing, coming forward, but they also don't want you to move on from them, okay? They are scared. They are anxious. They are not able to sleep at night. I have realized there's that strong bond between us. Did I, didn't I say that, Emperor and Empress? Oh my God. I have been trying to connect to you through dreams. Telepathic. Telepathy. You may see dreams. You may see messages, hear messages through them. Astro traveling. Because High Priestess is there. In the morning as well, I said that this, you may... Because Hierophant and High Priestess is there. So in the morning or yesterday's reading, I did mention it. You guys ask for travel in dreams. In my ideal world, we are so happy together forever. Yes. Yes. That's true. Messages. I'm so sorry. I have never shown you how much I loved you. See? Didn't I, don't, didn't I tell you that? last two okay we are always connected heart to heart no matter the distance you were the best thing that has ever happened to me guys a uh, beautiful message right beautiful messages undoubtedly all that i want to say is you need to give time to this person there's so many things this person is juggling with uh, this person is quite a mature one that you're dealing with okay very mature who uh, who has their head above their heart okay very futuristic and this person loves you undoubtedly but this person will only show you at the right time when they are ready when you know circumstances are such wherein they feel ready the surroundings are such when they feel ready that is what i've been hearing from a very long time and that is what all these things are all about you know messages from the spread and everything they are coming right they are planning to come forward pretty soon it's just that situations they are trying to fix those situations are taking time like their finances their business their job something that they really want to achieve before approaching you something that they really want to heal from their past before approaching you so these are the things that they are thinking about right now before approaching you so that is not bad right just have patience keep manifesting this is not going to take, uh, take a lot of time i think this is going to happen max by the end of october october you will see a lot of changes this in this person there will be a lot of forward movement in your connection for sure whatever negativity that was there the cycle is ending the, uh, it is coming to an completion now's the time when th slowly and gradually in the entire month of october you will start seeing changes in your person that's what i feel all right so thank you so much for tuning in i hope this one resonates with you too and take care good night